Hello and welcome to Mzansi Oz Diary. My name is Connie. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. So today we're going to continue with the, the video that I posted a few days ago about the Australian Senator uh, Pauline Hanson versus Senator Fatima Payman. So in that video, you had someone was yelling, um, you're convicted racist. Um, that was Lydia Thorpe, and I explained that in that video, what was the reason why she was saying that. Fast forward, and she apparently, it was report, it's reported that she went in that sitting, she ripped off that paper that Pauline Hansen had in head to table the motion to investigate um, whether Senator Fatima Payne was eligible to sit in Australian Parliament under Section 44, which I explained that Section 44, which um, the reason for that one, and that because she took all the necessary steps that of her before she was elected anyway to to renounce her Afghanistan citizenship, uh, based on the last cases that in Australia we had before about uh, dual citizenship cases, there were recommendation back done by High Court of Australia what parties need to do for for renouncing the citizenship, and she followed all of that step, but. For for her is because the Afghanistan um, didn't have a government, it was just the Taliban and it was not viewed as actually a legitimate government then. So, so based on that, she she's eligible to be in Australian Senate. So Lydia Thorpe went over and, and ripped that motion, that paper from Paul and Hansen. And then subsequently, all the major parties, the big major party, Australian Labour Party and uh, the Liberal Party, which is the centre left and centre right party, and they and plus the other, they're going to actually um, suspend Lydia Thorpe for doing that. And they sort of acted like, oh, it was so aggressive for her to do that. It was threatening, you know, the black woman, aggressive black woman uh, stereotype. So they play that one and subsequently they suspended her. So now she's going to have this interview with ABC News. So let's listen. Independent Senator Lydia Thorpe has been suspended from the Senate after ripping up a motion by Pauline Hanson on the chamber floor yesterday. Senator Thorpe joins me now from Parliament House. Senator, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So a day on, when you look back at what happened yesterday, do you wish you'd approach things any differently or would you do it all over again? I'd do it all over again. I'll do uh, what it takes to stamp out racism uh, that I've experienced all my life. Uh, we need to stand up to racism. Senator Faruqi and I put through a motion on Monday to inquire on Senate procedures to ensure that racism wasn't part of our workplace every day. Now, Labor sided with the coalition to uh, railroad that motion and have an in-house inquiry uh, into racism in the Senate that no one can see. We wanted uh, public to see a proper inquiry into stamping out racism in the chamber uh, and we weren't successful in ensuring that, you know, that that can be thoroughly done uh, in a way that everybody can see the problems in our workplace. And then on the, the, the next day, the Tuesday, the Human Rights Commissioner, uh, the, sorry, the Racial Discrimination Commissioner of the Human Rights Commission came out uh, with recommendations calling on parliamentarians to take uh, anti-racism training so that parliamentarians can come into this place and not be racist. Uh, with what Senator Hanson did to Senator Payman was an act of disgusting racism, questioning Senator Payman's legitimacy uh, to be in this place. That is an act of racism and I'm not one to stand or sit silent and allow this to happen. So, yeah, I'd do it again. I ripped up uh, the letters that Hanson wrote to the Senate uh, calling on 
Payman to be investigated for her legitimacy here. Uh, that is an act of racism and we need to stamp that out as a nation, otherwise we'll continue to be divided. Senator, um, Penny Wong and Simon Birmingham have both described it as unacceptable behaviour in any workplace. Do you agree? Well, I wish they'd say that about racism. You know, they're, they're quick to um, punish the, the black woman here all the time for calling it out. But I am responding to racism and that's what they need to focus on. They need to not allow Senator Hanson and others to uh, spew hate speech in our workplace. I mean, Senator Hanson, Pauline Hanson, has walked in there with a burqa. She constantly, um, across the floor, spews racism and disgusting violence towards us and, and anybody else who's not white. That's not acceptable behaviour either. And, and why won't Wong and Birmingham call that out? It's very convenient for them to uphold this colonial violence that, has, that continues to be per perpetrated against black and brown people in this country. If we can't stamp it out here, then we can't stamp it out for the rest of the nation. So uh, I'll continue to disrupt until it's taken seriously. And I urge everybody to look at the recommendations from the Race Discrimination Commissioner, who is calling on this parliament to take action. Well, speaking of uh, disrupting, are you still planning on going to the Senate today, even though you've been suspended? Well, no-one tells me the rules around here until I break them. I think they make it up as they go along, and that's part of the problem. Uh, and that's why we called for an inquiry into Senate procedures, so that uh, we are not responding to, to hate speech all the time and having all these disruptions. If it was a fair and equal workplace without uh, racist, um, vile, then we would have a much happier Senate and we'd all, you know, be able to get along OK to get the business done. But, you know, it's, it seems like there's one rule for, for white people uh, who get away with racism and there's one rule for us when we call that out. We're the ones that uh, are the, you know, the naughty, the naughty little black girl again. And, you know, that, that's OK if you want to call me that and call me disruptive, but... I will not stand there or sit there and be silent when uh, people of colour are being attacked with, with racism. It is violent. It hurts. And you'll, you'll continue to get reactions. So we've got to lead by example. We've got to have this parliament at the federal level say that racism is not allowed in this workplace. Senator, you talked just then about getting things done in Parliament. We know the government's got more than 30 bills before the Ooh. Senate today. We understand that you had a private senator's bill on the notice paper today as well, which now won't happen. What was it? Mm. Well, it was a private senator's bill. Uh, it was a genocide bill, which was to take away uh, the power of the Attorney-General, the one person in this country that decides whether a case of genocide or crimes against humanity can be heard in these courts. Now, we know that there's a genocide uh, happening in real time before our eyes against Palestinians. There is also a slow, sophisticated genocide against First Peoples in this country. Look at the statistics. Um, taking children away from families is an act of genocide. So we want to um, be able to go to the courts here and take on uh, those that are perpetrating genocide or crimes against humanity. So it's very convenient that I'm suspended today uh, when that bill was to be voted on. Uh, we have elders and activists who've come from across the country. We have Palestinians, we have West Papua, we have Kanaki people, all survivors of genocide coming together today to uh, support this bill, but also protest on the lawns of parliament. So this suspension actually allows me to hang out with the people and go protest on the lawns. Uh, and it makes it very difficult for the government to pass legislation because they needed my vote. So uh, I 
hope they have a good day in the Senate uh, and, you know, they, they may not be able to pass the legislation that needs to be passed today because they suspended me from uh, participating and they've suspended me for standing up to a racist. And now we're moving on to the far left uh, senator, um, Senator Maureen Furuki. Um, so she is going to respond to this um, suspension of Lydia Thorpe and what she thought was all about that suspension. And like I said, I don't think it was actually necessary for a major party to suspend her for that. Based on the fact that, you know, this is Pauline Hansen. You know, how many insults Pauline has viewed in that chamber? No one else has thought that Pauline needs to be suspended. You know, if you're going to have free speech, you must be able to take in on both sides. If you want to, you're somebody that like to have a free speech, you should be able to give people a chance to say the things they want to say. There is a difference between if an implied freedom of speech and actually a hate speech. So Pauline Hansen just view hates. Every time she stand, it was a couple of weeks ago, she went on about 20 minutes talking about immigration, how very driven immigration just went on and on. There's no one in that chamber stood up and said, hang on, just stop all, all of this stuff. You are being discriminatory. You know, you're going after people in our community that are migrants and all of that. Anyway, so now Senator Furuki is going to respond to this uh, censor of Lydia Thorpe about what she thought the the whole senator chamber should have responded to that and you will see how penny wong respond to it and i told you before about penny wong um you know her behavior so just some um, watch her response while senator furuki speaks and you also have to um, listen to her. She's going to speak anyway. So let's listen. Well, what a disgrace. What a disgrace Labour and the Liberals are. Calling for Senator Thorpe to be censured for telling the truth. For telling the truth about invasion, dispossession, and the genocide of First Nations people in this country. That is just contemptible. I thought we still lived in a democracy. We have a right to protest. We have a right to dissent. We have a right to disrupt. And that's what Senator Thorpe did. But you, you want to police black women. You want to police the way we disrupt black and brown people, disrupt and dissent. Order. You want us, you want us to be boxed into what a white, white supremacist system is the right way to protest and to dissent. Uh, Senator Faruqi, just resume your seat. Uh, thank you. Senator Wong? I'd ask that that be withdrawn. Uh, Senator Faruqi, uh, I'll ask you to withdraw in the interests of the Chamber the comments you've made in relation to people's colour. Sorry? So I don't understand how... I thought what she wanted to be withdrawn would be about... The white supremacy. Why she has to withdraw a statement about race? Because aren't they talking about race? But anyway, look at Penny Wong. She's turned her back, but then she's going to say other people are disruptive, are disrespectful. That is disrespectful. Just the fact that she turned her back against a fellow senator who's speaking. Sorry, President, I, I didn't I, understand why that went against the rules. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I'm not suggesting it goes against the rules. What I said to you was in the interests of harmony across the chamber, I would ask you to withdraw those comments. And when black and brown people uh, Senator, are being vilified and attacked left, right Senator and centre, Faruqi, where is the harmony for seat. them? Senator Faruqi, order. Senator Faruqi, please resume your seat. 
senators who are interjecting, I remind you I'm dealing with this matter and I'm asking you to be silent. Senator Faruqi, I asked you in the interests of the chamber, you can either accept my advice or you can reject my advice, but you are not in a debate with me. I'll invite you once again to withdraw those comments. Um, I withdraw just so you can allow me to speak, because here in this chamber, uh, our voices Senator are Faruqi, shut down. Senator where, Faruqi, where was, I Senator withdraw, Faruqi, I withdraw, President. Thank I you. withdraw. Thank you. Please where, continue. Where was the harmony? Where was the disrepute of this chamber when Senator Hansen racially vilified me, when both Labour and the Liberals joined up not to censure her? And now the federal court, the federal court has found in a very strong ruling that Senator Pauline Hansen racially vilified me and, you know, fell foul of the Racial Discrimination Act. Will you be ashamed now? Will you censure her too? Very quick to censure a black woman, but do nothing, do nothing when a brown woman is racially vilified by a colleague in this workplace. Hope you can hang your heads in shame. But it is true, it is true that the bubble of white privilege that encapsulates this uh, parliament, it's a systemic issue. And that's why we are here today debating, debating a black senator being censured for telling the truth of the British Crown's genocide on First Nations people and telling it the way that she wants to. So stop, stop attacking, vilifying First Nations people, brown people, refugees and migrants, which is what is happening, which is what is happening at the moment in this country. For once, for once, sit down, sit down and listen, listen to First Nations people. Listen to their truth in the way they want to tell it. Listen to their truth of how the British Crown wreaked havoc wreaked havoc on First Nations people here and on people of color around the world. And the truth is that the British Empire and the colonial forces have inflicted huge suffering and horrific, horrific atrocities on First Nations people. But you want to shut, you want to shut that down. You want First Nations people who tell their truth to shut up because you don't like the way they tell the truth. You want them to be polite. But there are First Nations people who are being killed in custody. First Nations people bear the worst of racism and discrimination in this country. But that's all fine. Let's shut down a black... Yes, Australia has the highest incarceration of... Um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Um, so that is the fact. Woman who talks about it. Truth telling is uncomfortable and it should be uncomfortable. So feel that discomfort a bit, feel that discomfort a bit, hear it and try and do something about it. Preserving the British monarchy is to preserve white supremacy and the systemic racist structures that were built by the empire and that persist, harm, hurt, and kill people to this day. And you know what? It is time. It is time for this country to embrace a republic which is rooted in decolonization and sovereignty of First Nations. But you're not going to listen to this. You're not going to listen to people in any other way, shape or form, unless we scream and shout and force you to listen. The Greens vehemently oppose the censure motion against Senator Thorpe. In relation to Senator Faruqi, in Order. relation to Senator Faruqi. So now there comes Penny Wong. Senator Faruqi, uh, our position on Senator Hanson and her views is long standing. Uh, our, our position on her views in relation to race uh, precedes. Order. I listened to you. Order. I listened to you. 
I listen to you. This is the point. You only wish to be, you wish us to listen to you, but you do not wish to listen to us. And you denigrate us, and you use words like, like you used in your speech in order to denigrate. Senator Wong, I now, just advise we, you to direct your comments to the we, chair. We, 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 <laughs> well, I hope that goes both ways, Senator. Um, yeah, this is uh, what we call passive aggression. This is what Pen Wong just displayed right now, passive aggression. Senator, I, I would remind you that when Senator Hanson first raised her views on Asian immigration, Asian, about being Australia being swamped by Asian, there were many of us inside the Labor Party and inside the community who uh, worked, protested, advocated against... So she's saying Asian because she, obviously she's Asian. Now there comes that DEI again. Oh, gosh. Well, how are we going to ex escape this? How are we going to escape this thing? You know, how are we going to escape this uh, identity stuff? And both sides, actually, uh, it annoys me. It actually annoys me. You know, yeah. Anyway, let's listen. Against her. I would also remind you of the motion we passed in support of you and the speech I gave in support of you in relation to her words about you. So I just would remind you of that. Um, Senator, we seem to have um, come to a place where senators' behaviour in this place and beyond is uh, designed uh, to cause outrage, designed uh, to gain media attention, uh, and. Uh, yeah, because, you know, fellow senator who, who left Labour, Fatima Payman, Payman, she, you know, she spoke really strongly against uh, Pauline Hanson. Now, um, Penny Wong is going to come in and go after her and pretend that she's talking about how dare she's talking, the way she talked, the way she talked yesterday. You know, her behaviour is out of touch. You know, she did that because she wanted media attention and he yada yari. And it's gone. Let's listen. Anyway. So often does not reflect uh, on uh, this chamber and what Australians expect of us uh, being sent here. Uh, we, are, we do have enormous privilege being here. We have ab what the, legally absolute privilege in this place. And that should be exercised with a degree uh, of responsibility and respect for the other. And respect for the other. Yes, yeah, she's talking about privileges. Uh, being in parliament is a privilege. How dare Maureen Faruqi can accuse them of racism. She should be grateful that she, she's in parliament. Her and Fatima... Um, Payment should be grateful because they're a privileged one. How dare they would accuse them of racism? This is crazy to me. Um, I mean, sometimes reflection and listening is the best medicine than anything else. I'd say about it because I think her species actually hasn't convince me that she understands what went on yesterday by censoring uh, Lydia Thorpe. You know, they pull out the angry black woman uh, trope against her yesterday. And it's not to say her behaviour was okay, was okay, but like she said, she's got a right to, uh, like Maureen Faruqi said, her way of expressing herself is her way of expressing herself. If you're going to be uh, for diversity, equity, inclusion, it is what that is, what she did, even what she did about a month ago when King Charles was here. It is how she chose to um, express herself, 
hey, unless we are in the business of censoring people. Anyway, they try to censor people with that missing information and disinformation bill that wasn't supported. And uh, now that failed. Now we're going to censor their own member of parliament, Lydia Thorpe. You know, this is getting ridiculous. It's out of control. I don't know what this labor in labor and coalition actually what this type what are we dealing here with what is it i'm looking at what type of leadership are we going to get next year in the next election in future because we just can't go on like this this dei they draw dei everywhere even with this speech with penny wong it's all about her and a dei you know she's asian you know and make sure that we all see hey asian i mean and then that stuff put in place it's not even it's not even it's not even answering the the substance of it of the the com what Maureen Furichi said, she's going to throw up all of that stuff in them, which was true because I didn't hear them actually saying anything against Pauline Hansen when she, but she's actually been found to be guilty of that. So it's gone to court, but I haven't had them say that. So, uh, yeah, hypocrisy. That's what I say, hypocrisy. You know, hypocrisy is all about that. We ended up with censoring people. I mean, if you can say like censoring, uh, what's that US uh, conservative, Candice Owen, censoring Candice Owen, preventing Candice Owen from coming to a show in Australia. But you've got Pauline Hanson spewing this hate every time she speaks in parliament to the Australian people, okay? To the Australian people. And the court has agreed that she is. It's not just implied freedom of speech. What she goes about, it is actually hate speech. She's going to uh, appeal it, the sentencing. My guess is she's not going to win it unless the law changes. And let the Australian law get amended before this case. Uh, yeah, she has a chance of winning it, but she has no chance. I mean, this is the person, Pauline Hansen here. You know, the court said, even her character, because not so much about what she's trying to defend. She's defending her character. When you go to court, you're defending yourself and your character. And the things that you've said before in the past will come to light and the court might have a different view. Her intention. It's very clear even now with this pay, uh, Fatima Payam, who is actually has a right to be there as a senator because she earned her right to be there. But she had to stay the port, had to disrupt everything. And, you know, when Lydia Thorpe and tried to defend her, and now she's been censored. So this here was it. it I feel like Labour and Liberal and all of them at fault in this case. Okay, this is my opinion. Or this is opinion, opinion and at facts. That's why we didn't want the misinformation and disinformation to censor opinion because you can't censor people's opinion and views about things. Okay, if you're new here, you're very much welcome. If you like what you hear, please consider subscribing. Until next time, see ya. Bye.